Okay, today we're going to do some problem solving with our multiplying of two digit numbers now that we have had lots of practice on it. Please again pay attention to what goes on here in these boxes so we can fill in the boxes that are blank on this side. See how much writing we're going to have to do today? Yep. All right, let's read. During the 2010 great backyard bird count, an average of 42 ball eagles were counted in each of 20 locations throughout Alaska. In 2009, an average of 32 ball eagles were counted in each of 26 locations throughout Alaska. Based on this data, how many more bald eagles were counted in 2010 than in 2009? So lots of information given to you in here. Let's start by highlighting our question. Read it with me. How many more bald eagles were counted in 2010 than in 2009? Key words here would be how many more? And you can see that 2010 van in 2009 is also important. Now, what are my numbers that I'm going to use from the problem? Now, please remember that just because it gives you all these numbers does not mean that I'm always going to use every single one. So who can tell me what the things are I need to circle to use in my problem? Okay, 42 bald eagles. Morgan, 32 bald eagles. What other information is necessary for us, Mackenzie? Okay, we have to know that those 42 bald eagles were counted in 20 locations. And then 32 bald eagles were already counted in how many other locations? Morgan? 26. So your 42 and your 20 should go together, and your 32 bald eagles with your 26 locations should also go together. Now, do I need the 2010 and the 2009 to be circled? What are those? It's not just extra information, they are years, correct? So it's just telling you the years. Those are not numbers that we need to use in our actual problems. So let's start here. We already read it. We already highlighted what we need to find, but let's fill in this rest of this sentence. I need to find blank bald eagles were counted in 2010, then in 2009. So go back and read your question you highlighted. And what words am I going to add into this blank? Cheyenne? How many more? So I need to find how many more? And I know it's not a very big line, so get it in there as best you can. We're finding out how many more bald eagles were counted in 2010 than in 2009. Now, the information that we circled is going to be the information I need to use and fill in three sentences that are next. So in 2010, how many locations counted an average of how many bald eagles each? John Maurice? So 20 locations, and how many bald eagles were in those 20 locations? 32. 42. 42 or 32? 42. 42, because we talked about 42 goes with 20, right? Yes. So make sure we get those things to stay together. And then in 2009, Tristan, how many locations do we have here? Okay, and how many bald eagles in those 26 locations? So I'm talking to you. What's that? 32. So you're using all of the numbers that we circled, putting it into the sentences. Now, again, you're going to have to write these kinds of sentences all out on the back. So there's not filling in blanks. It's writing the whole thing. All right? So prepare yourselves to know what we're getting. Now, this next box is how we're going to use that information. So it says, I can solve simpler problems. We're going to break this down into a problem at a time to figure out the entire answer. We're going to find the number of bald eagles counted in... 2010 was listed first, wasn't it? So we're going to find out what was listed in 2010. 
And then we're going to find the number of bald eagles counted in? 2009. We have two different years, so we're going to have to do two different problems to figure out each one. Then it wants us to draw a bar model to compare the blank count to the blank count. So what am I comparing? If I'm finding the number of bald eagles counted in 2010, and then I'm going to find it in 2009, what am I comparing? Well, it says I'm going to draw a bar model to compare the blank count. So what count am I going to use first? Morgan? Well, but what's my count? Where am I getting it? What For what year? Do I know my count right now? No. So I can't fill that in. So if I'm drawing a bar model, I'm comparing what? What are the two things I've already found by the time I get to my bar model? Aiden? The year. The year. So what are my years? 2010 count to the 2009 count. So basically, every year they go out and they count how many bald eagles are in a certain location. So they call those their counts. So we're going to compare them from 2010 and 2009. Now this is where you really need to pay close attention as to how we're going to go about doing the problems because we're going to have a couple of them as we learned down here. So follow along in the solve the problem on the right. First, we're going to find the total number of bald eagles counted in 2010. So go over here to 2010's information, and what numbers am I going to plug in there? Chase, what am I going to plug into 2010 over here? You're using information we've already done. Say it again. 42. Okay, 42 and? 32 doesn't go with 2010. 20. you got to use the information. So basically, we're taking our information from here, and we're moving it over here. Does everybody see that? All right. So now we're going to do the 42 times the 20. So what is 42 times 2? And then we will add our 0. Mackenzie? 84. 84. And then we still have the 0, so you want to add that there. Bless you. So 42 times 2 is 84, plus the 0 makes 840 bald eagles. They were counted in 2010. Now, what does it say to do? Next find the total number of bald eagles counted in 2009. Okay, so we just did 2010. It's time to do 2009. Brayden, what, what are my numbers? 32 and 26. So here's where I got those. Yes. yes. Now you're going to have to do some math over to the side like we did yesterday because we don't have a zero in this number. So if you need to, write it over here and do your math. Those of you who have been using partial products, I hope that sometime soon you learn how to do the regrouping. It's much faster. Go ahead and work it out. Who's got it for me? Fred, what'd you come up with? Nope, something's wrong in your multiplication. Logan, what'd you get? 832. 832 should be your answer. If you did your multiplication correctly for 32 times 26, you should get 832. All right? Now, we have found 2010 and we have found 2009. So now we are going to draw that bar model that it told us we needed to do. And then we're going to subtract to find what? What did it say up here? How many more? So we're finding a difference between the two. All right. So look at what they drew. Because you're going to have to draw this. So please pay attention to what they're drawing. All they did was draw one rectangle for 2010, and they wrote the 840 that you got from up here. Then they drew another one that was smaller because 832 is smaller than 840, right? And they told you that was in 2009. Now, if you look right here at this little bracket they have, that is what they're looking for. We are looking for the difference between 2010 and 2009. So 
so we have to subtract. So what they did was brought down your numbers, 840 minus 832. Do the math, and what am I going to get when I've done that? I can do that in my head, too. Elena? Eight. So that means that there were eight more bald eagles counted in 2010 than in 2009. So we had two multiplication problems and then a subtraction. But we can't forget that we had to draw a model to show that. I will tell you on your homework page, you have to draw a model. It is not an option. You will have to draw something just like this. Now, is this hard? No. All of your math that you do will go into that bar model. Okay? I want you to make sure you're understanding how to draw bar models. All right, let's try our own. This is where we're going to prepare to write. All right, I'm going to read this one to you. Please follow along as I do. In Prescott Valley, Arizona, reported a total of 29 morning doves in the great backyard bird count. Mesa, Arizona, reported 20 times as many morning doves as Prescott Valley. If Chandler reported a total of 760 morning doves, how many more morning doves were reported in Chandler than in Mesa. Now, is this exactly the same things that we did on the other side? Look at the information that it gave you in this problem, and then I want you to turn back and look at the information in the other problem. Did they give you the same amount of information? Did they give you the same kind of information? No, so this is not exactly the same as the front. So we're going to have to figure out what our steps are going to be. Let's start by highlighting our question. Read it with me. How many more morning doves were reported in Chandler than in Mesa? Now, is our question similar? Yes, we're talking about how many more in one place than the other. So our question is similar. So we know we're going to do something similar here. Okay. Now, what are the things I do need for my problem? You know what's something I need here? Um, 29 morning doves. Okay, so 29 morning doves. Anything else? Okay, I'm going to have to use that 20 times. Anything else? Space? I need the total, don't I? That, that looks like they're giving us one part that we had to do the last time. Because did we have any totals last time? No. But do we have one now? Yeah. All right. So do we think we kind of have it figured out here what we might be able to do? Yeah. Hopefully you've got a good idea, at least. Okay, I'm going to go back to my computer so I can type this in so it's not so sloppy because you have a small box there and mine is even smaller when it comes time to writing with that pen. So what is it we need to find? All right, so basically, what are you using? The question. So you're going to say, how many more morning doves, and spell it correctly would be nice, were reported in Chandler than in Mesa. And I'm going to have to go down to the next line, it looks like. Everybody see that? I'll click off of it so you can read it. So how many morning doves, excuse me, how many more morning doves were reported in Chandler than in Mesa? So basically you're using your question Some of you that like to write big, let's try to write a little bit smaller here so we can fit them in the right boxes and it's not all over the page. As you get that written, I want you to look for the information that we're going to need to use. Those would be the things that we circled. We can list these just as long as we know what we're using them for. Bailey, can you tell me something we're going to use? Okay, and who reported 29 morning doves? Um, 
Well, Prescott Valley and Arizona reported that. 